Today we're gonna to be looking at our Navis Windy Anemometer. So as detailed here, we are looking at three main components of your anemometer. The sensor installs in the bracket, and then you're gonna fasten it down with an Allen key. Once that's fastened down, we apply our anemometer cups, give it a spin, everything's working, and now to install. And it's done. It's not coming off unless you really want it to come off. It's worth noting that most of our Navis anemometer systems are also compatible with wind speed and direction sensors. This is our Navis W410 line of anemometers. Uh, this system here comes with 1300 meters of range out of the box, and as you can see, comes with different accessories that aren't available on some of our other systems. So this one here has an external antenna, an external audible alarm, and also comes with mounting hardware, so once you get it on site, it's as easy as just sticking it to any ferrous surface. What makes the W410 line of anemometers unique is its Bluetooth compatibility. The display itself emits a Bluetooth frequency, which can then be picked up by an unlimited amount of smartphones in the display radius. In the W410 line, you also have the option of receiving a unit with optional programmable relays. And as stated, this is a system that you can use in conjunction with existing infrastructure if you need your wind speeds to determine an action on site. So in the past, we've sold this to companies running uh, fountains. So in the event that wind speed exceeded a certain parameter, the fountain would shut off as a result of interaction with one of these relays. 